Who's there? What's going on there? What's... Hey, who... Weak at the knees.
Jesus Christ be praised. You know something about Jinjo? I might have heard something. And if you share a bit of silver with me, I might share what I know. I'm investigating a crime, not bartering for a chicken. Well then, I'm sure you've got some silver on you. Just give it to me, and it'll be a done deal. Good then. How much were you imagining? You already cost me a bit of my time. Now I want double. That's quite a bit. Let's see. Are you pulling my pizzle? Give me more or get lost. Now oh, forget it. I'll find it myself. God be with you. God be with you. You don't have to worry about those bandits anymore. I've dealt with them. Really? And I suppose I have to take your word for it. If you want proof, I can take you to them. Hmm. Maybe I should have brought you their heads. I'll take your word for it. All right, a bargain's a bargain. Ginger is hiding out in a ruined hut not far from here. You go along the road to Ujits until you see a path to the right that leads to a small spring. There's an overgrown path that leads from there right to where Ginger is. Keep your eyes peeled, though. You could easily miss it. Good. Thanks for your help. May the Lord watch over you.
Jesus, you've led me a merry dance. What do you want from me? I want to ask you a couple of questions. Why did you run off like that? Where are your cronies? And why did you kill that bandit? What? Right, one thing at a time. Why did you run off in such a hurry? Because I was afraid they'd come back and kill me. Who? Those, those bandits, of course. To get revenge on you for killing their mate? Killing? Me? I, I never killed anyone. God is my witness. I'm looking for your friends. Where are they? The charcoal burners? They're over at the... To hell with the charcoal burners. Where are your bandit mates? The, they're not my mates. They, they nearly killed me. I recognised one of them, so I thought they'd come back and... Recognised? Who was it? Talk! I d don't know his n name, only that he's from Ushets and he has a limp. What can you tell me about him? How do you know him? I saw him a few times in the tavern in Ushets, playing dice and boozing. And? I know he lives in a house on the edge of the village, but that's all I know. I never talked to him. Why did you kill that bandit? What? Bandit? I never killed anyone. This is yours, isn't it? I pulled it from the belly of a dead bandit near the stud farm. That is mine, but I didn't stab him. That fellow took it from me. What fellow? I don't know his name, but he's from Ujits and he has a limp. He limps and he's from Ujits. That's not much to go on, but I suppose it'll have to do. It's all I know. I never talk to him. And now tell me exactly what happened. And don't leave anything out. That's quite a long story. Don't worry, I won't get bored. All right. I woke up in the middle of the night because I needed to go for a piss. So I went out into the dark, same as usual, only... Only there was something there that shouldn't have been. At first I thought it was just a trick of the light, but it wasn't. And then it was too late. They went past, and I thought they must be horse thieves. I would have yelled, only I was afraid they'd kill me. So I waited until they were out of sight, and I started to sneak away. But then... Then the slaughtering started. Yes. Yeah. I, I thought they'd steal the horses and ride off. That would be bad enough, but then... All the killing started and flames everywhere. Oh, it was terrible, like hell itself. And then? It, it seemed some of them didn't like it either. They started squabbling among themselves, and some of them started running back where they came from, right towards me. And I had that thing in my hand, the hoof pick. So you stabbed the first one in the belly? No, no. He ran right into me. He was running fast for a fellow with a limp. He pushed me aside and I fell on the ground. Then he told me I'd better lie low if I valued my life. And he ran off with the others. I, I did what he said and hid. Then the rest of the gang ran past. And then? then? Then I waited in case that limping one from Ujits came back. I didn't dare come out until I was sure. I think it was almost light. Do you know what they argued about? I didn't hear everything, but I reckon some of them were only there to steal and wanted no part in the killing. What about the others? Was there anything you noticed about them? Uh, I don't know. Th there might have been maybe eight of them, and two of them were really big. That's all I can remember. That sounds terrible. I know exactly how you feel. If only I yelled. Maybe they... <laughs> if you had, you'd most likely be dead. It probably wouldn't have done any good anyway. But still. There was nothing you could do. That's all. I've heard everything I need to hear, so I'll leave you be. Wait! What about me? Won't you help me out? Uh, perhaps I could. What would you like? I'd like to go back to the stud farm, but those cutthroats who want to kill me are still around. Will you help me? They're out of the way. 
I ran into them on my travels. Really? That's great, but... What? I'm afraid to go back to the farm. I, I ran away, and God knows what they'll think about it all. I don't know if they'll even want to talk to me. Just try, and you'll see whether they drive you away or not. But if you explain it to them, they're sure to understand. I suppose you're right. Thank you for your help, and God bless you. I have no wish to trouble you, good man. But if you could help me. Good sir. What is it then? <clears throat> it's a, about this. I challenge you to a duel, sir. What? You heard? Don't try to wriggle out of it. Let's get to it. I'm not in the habit of fighting to the death with fellows I meet by chance on the road. Tell me first what this is all about. What's happening is I'm challenging you to a duel, you disgusting man. I spit in your face. Eager, aren't you? Who are you, anyway? I am Sir Olbram of Lossany. Pleased to meet you, Sir Olbram. So, what are you after? Uh, my mother sent me out to get some experience. She's obsessed with tales of chivalrous knights. In short, she sent me off looking for some virgin to save, and to win glory in combat. But I have to admit, I'm not very good at it. That's a damn foolish idea. You ought to go home. I'd love to. But what shall I tell Mama? Tell her to forget about her Tristans and Amadises and leave you alone. Not only will you have peace, but no doubt your subjects will take you more seriously too. That's easier said than done. I'm not sure I have the courage for that. Well, you have the courage to accost wayfarers and challenge them to duels. Surely you can talk to your mother. Well, I suppose so. Thank you for your encouraging words. Glad to be of service, sir. Never mind. I'll wait here for someone else. Don't you, Star. I don't suppose it matters who chops oh, well. my head off. I wouldn't mind if I to eat, actually.
Yeah. Yeah. That's a decent price. My respects to you. I talked to Ginger and found out what happened. Out with it then. Ginger fled because he recognised one of the raiders. He was afraid they'd come back to silence him. Well, he was right. They were asking about him. So who did he recognize? He didn't know his name. Some fellow with a limp from Ujits. All right. Since you've gone this far, you may as well ask around in Ujits. We have enough to do here in these parts anyway. Sir Radzik will tell you about it. He said to send you to him if you haven't already been. Lord, watch over you. Could do with a bite to eat. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? My lord, I managed to find a clue to the whereabouts of the bandits. Excellent. Bernard already told me what's been happening, but I'd like to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. The whole story, or just the gist of it, sir? It's up to you what you consider important. Well, in the end, I tracked down the stable boy who fled in fear of his life, and for good reason, too. He put me on the trail of a crofter from Ujit with a limp. And his name? The boy didn't know him by name, only by sight. But if I ask around, I'm sure folk will know who limps and keeps peculiar company. Villagers like to gossip. But what if he's not there? He could have fled, maybe even to Kuttenberg. If I don't find him in Ujit, I'll ask around. Someone will know something about him. All right. Better go to Ujit then. Find this limping footpad and get the names of the others out of him. They have to face justice for what they did. I want to see them hang. Then bring him to me in Mehoyet, and I'll decide on his fate. Certainly, sir. Why choose Mehoyet? It's somewhat at the center of events, isn't it? And what's more, there's another stud farm there. Sir, do you think they're going to try the same thing again? I shouldn't think so. Everyone will be on the alert now, but the secluded dwellings are more vulnerable. There are few people in them. They're scattered everywhere, and we can't guard them all. But the bandits won't find much silver in places like that. There's always a groschen or two, some food and so on. Anyway, how much silver did they get from slaughtering those horses? True. If they'd stolen them, they could have sold them. Those were fine animals. Exactly. It's not about the silver. It's about something else. But what? Creating fear. Such great terror that you won't even squeak when they come to cut your throat. Never mind, raise your hand against them. Fear that will root you to the spot, staring like a rabbit entranced by a stoat, waiting for the death blow to fall. Helpless to do anything about it. <laughs> 